At the circus, there were tons of people working and even visiting the circus. The Louds and Bobby entered the circus and they looked around. I can't seem to see Elsa anywhere and this horse tracking device says that Elsa's been here, Lisa said. She could be anywhere. Why don't we all split up and look for her? Lincoln suggested. Okay, I wasn't going to suggest that idea, but it's fine, Lori said to Lincoln as she got everyone's attention. Now everyone, let's split up and try to find Elsa, Lori said. Then we'll all meet back at the clown statue at 3 o'clock. All right, let's go, Bobby said, as all the louds split up in several directions. As Lincoln looked at the cages of animals, there were tons of lions and tigers and bears, oh my, but had no luck finding Elsa. Seeing that she was nowhere near the animals, then suddenly, Wario watched Lincoln from a nearby circus tent. Hey, that's Lincoln Loud. I know that he and his sisters are up to. So here I come, Lincoln. Get ready to be pranked, Wario said. Then he filled up a balloon of olive oil and then threw it at Lincoln while laughing. Ah, my eyes, Lincoln shouted as he was doused in olive oil. Help, help, Lincoln cried as Wario ran off laughing. And as soon as Lincoln got to a water toe, he washed the olive oil from his face. When Lincoln dried himself off with a towel, he then saw that Wario was heading towards a tent, and he knew that Wario was the one who pulled that prank on him, and he needed to be stopped. As Lincoln chased Wario into a tent, he saw that Lenny was doing a fashion show in a clown costume. Lenny, what are you doing? Lincoln asked. Oh, I'm just doing a fashion show in a clown costume, Lenny replied. Did you find Elsa? No, but Wario is here and he threw an olive oil balloon at my face, Lincoln said. We just gotta stop him. Just as Lincoln said that, Lori and Bobby both walked in the tent and saw Lenny and Lincoln that were both in. Wario pranked you? Lori asked. He pranked me and Bobby before you. He shot me and Bobby with a paint from a paintball gun. Oh man, did he do that? Lincoln asked. Yeah, and one of them hit my nuts. Bobby replied. We gotta stop him or he'll prank everyone. Quickly, let's round up everyone and try to catch Wario. Lori instructed as Lincoln with Lenny went in one direction while Lori and Bobby went the other way. Lola was doing pageants when Lori and Bobby found her along with Lynn Jr. and Lana. Lenny and Lincoln found Lucy and Lisa in one tent, petting the animals. Soon they had to find Luna and Luann. Where can Luna and Luann be? Lucy asked. What is that purple thing? Lenny asked, seeing a purple dinosaur walking inside the tent. Then they could hear Luna's voice coming from the tent with the purple dinosaur that walked in. They headed off in that direction, and as they were on their way, Lincoln texted Lori to where to meet him and the others at. When Lincoln, Lenny, Lucy, and Lisa walked inside the tent, they found Luna on her guitar, playing music while the purple dinosaur was singing. Is it just me, or does that purple dinosaur remind you of anyone? Lisa asked. It looks like Barney the dinosaur. But why is he here? Lucy asked. I'm not sure why he's here, Lincoln replied. So you guys, what do you call a purple dinosaur? Barney the dinosaur! Ha ha ha! Luann cackled at her joke. Lincoln knew that Luann was dressed up in a Barney costume just to entertain the kids. Luann, is that you? Lincoln asked as Luann took off the headpiece of the Barney costume. Yeah, it's just me in a Barney costume. I wanted to wear it for entertainment, Luann replied, then turned around to look behind her. When the dinosaur tail hit Wario, when she saw that Wario was trying to prank her, she shook her head. Hee <laughs> hey louds, Wario said nervously. Are you searching for Patrick Star? No, dude. You pranked some of our siblings, Luna said sternly. We just told War Mario about what you did, so you'll be going back to Super Mario World. With that said, Lincoln picked up Wario and threw him into a trunk, which Luann shut it tight. Try and get out of there now, Wario, because Mario will deal with you soon. Luan and cackled when Lori and Bobby with the rest of the loud siblings showed up. There you all are. What happened while we were out? Wario pranked some of us, but thankfully we stopped him, Lisa explained. Lincoln also texted Mario about it, so he'll be here to take Wario back to Super Mario World. Luan, 
Why are you dressed up as Barney the Dinosaur? Lori asked Luann. I found it in the costume box and just want to entertain the kids as Barney. Luann replied. Plus, I made some decent amount of dollars. Well, there's no time to be dressed up as Barney the Dinosaur, Luann. We gotta find Elsa, Lori said. Then Luann got out of the Barney costume. Soon the louds were out of the tent and they were searching for Elsa again. Any advice on how we could find her? Lola asked. Yeah, there has to be a way we haven't done yet, Lana added. Perhaps we should try looking from somewhere up high with a telescope, Lisa suggested. Then Lynn climbed up a tree and got her telescope to look out through it. As she was looking around, she found a pregnant horse in the field, and it was Elsa. And she was in the field, walking around. You guys! I saw Elsa in the fields! She's north of us! We gotta get her! Lynn said. Well, fine, Lynn. We'll catch up to her quick, Lori said. I'll head back to the truck with the trailer, and I'll meet you at the field, Bobby said. Be careful, babe. I will, Boo Boo Bear. See you at the field, Lori replied as the louds headed towards the field. While Bobby headed back the other way they came just to fetch the truck with the trailer. As the louds were running on the field, they exited out of the circus so they could catch up to Elsa. Within a few minutes, they saw Elsa about six feet away from them. Did she have the baby? Luann asked. It appears that she didn't have her foal yet, so she is still pregnant, Lisa replied. Now you guys, we have to use soft voices around her. We don't want to scare her off. So, shh, Lori said as she grabbed a halter and lead rope and then walked towards Elsa. As carefully and quickly as she can, Lori got the halter on Elsa and then attached the lead rope to her halter. We finally found her, so she seems to be okay, Lana said. She has no injuries from what I can see, Luna said. Then a loud cat screech could be heard startling the louds as they saw that if there was a mountain lion. On their left, the mountain lion was approaching the louds. A mountain lion? She looks mad, Luann said. We gotta take care of that big cat, Lola stated. I'll distract the mountain lion. Lynn can hit it with the baseball bat, Lincoln said. Then toss the baseball bat to Lynn Jr. Get Elsa away from the mountain lion. She can't fight while she's pregnant, Lynn Jr. said. As she and Lincoln distract the mountain lion, while their siblings walked Elsa in the opposite direction, away from danger. As Lincoln distracted the mountain lion, Lynn Jr. grabbed her baseball bat and snuck up from behind the creature. When Lincoln was at the edge of a cliff, he was then cornered with the mountain lion, but as Lynn Jr. saved him just in time, as the mountain lion was getting closer to Lincoln, Lynn Jr. saved him. Lynn swung the baseball bat so hard that the mountain lion was knocked out by, by a long th on the mountain lion that knocked the big cat out. Phew, thanks, Lynn, Lincoln said. No problem. That should knock the big cat out for a long time, Lynn Jr. replied. Now let's head back towards the vans, Lynn Jr. said. As she and Lincoln ran back the way they came, they headed towards a country road where Van Zilla, along with the truck and trailer, turns out, that Elsa was inside the trailer, and the louds were in Vanzilla when they headed towards that direction. They have caught up with their siblings and Bobby. Are right, there you guys are. Are you okay? Lori asked when she hugged Lynn and Lincoln. We're okay now, and I knocked out the mountain lion, Lynn Jr. replied. Well, he was going to eat me, but Lynn Jr. saved me, Lincoln added. We're all glad that you're okay, Lori said. We should all head back to the Loud family farm now. Elsa should could have the baby at any time now, Bobby said from his truck. Let's go home, Lincoln said, as the Louds and Bobby were heading home from their great adventure. Back at the Loud farm, it was around 4.30 p.m. Rita, Lee, Lily, and Lynn Sr. were pacing around the barn. They haven't heard from their children in several hours, and they were getting really worried. The McBrides haven't seen the kids or Elsa, I sure hope they're okay, Rita replied. Me too. I'm getting worried about them. And Elsa, Lynn Sr. added. Martha said that she's called everyone in the countryside that she knows, and they still have no sign of them, Rita said. Then she heard Van Zilla and a truck with a trailer pulling up on the farm property. That's the kids and Bobby, Lynn Sr. said, as he and Lily and Rita all turned to see Lori with her siblings and Bobby. They were safe and unharmed as they ran up to hug them all. Oh my god, we're so glad you're all home. 
We've all been very worried about you, Rita said with tears of joy. We had to find Elsa, so we went through some adventure, Lin Jr. said as Bobby got Elsa out from the trailer. At first we went to a farm, and it was luxurious one we found and for our first place to look, Lenny started. Then we went to a restaurant, and then we went to a circus and found Elsa in the meadow by herself, Lola added. Wario tried to prank us, but we stopped him before he could. He did prank a few of us, but we managed to stop him, Luann said. And there was a mountain lion, and he was going to eat me, but Lynn saved me, Lincoln chirped. Soon the kids were all talking at once and that the parents couldn't understand the whole story. Slow down, kids, Lynn Sr. exclaimed, getting the kids to stop talking. At dinner time, you could tell your story of all what happened. Okay, Dad, but we're okay now, dudes, Luna said. Then Martha showed up, surprised that the Louds and Bobby returned home. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. We were all very worried when we haven't heard you from a while for in a while. Marfa said. Elsa seems to be just fine. Let me get her in her stall. Marfa took Elsa and let the mare into her stall. Now we can see the foal being born, Lori said. She got away from us for a while, but it happened when Lana left the stall door open. And the barn door opened. But we found Elsa, and what matters is that she is safe. You kids must be dirty as well. Look at the mud and stuff, Rita said, seeing how dirty her children and Bobby were. While we make dinner, you should all have showers and baths, and at dinner time, you can all talk about your one big great adventure. That story would be a fairy tale to tell, ha ha ha! Luann laughed as she, along with the rest of Rita and Lynn Sr.'s children, headed inside the farmhouse to take showers and baths. Before Lynn Sr., Rita, and Lily headed towards the farmhouse, they turned to see Marfa near Elsa's stall, and she turned to the parents' attention. I'll keep an eye on Elsa and I'll let you know when she's about to have her foal, so that way you and your children could see the foal being born, Marfa said, as the parents and with Lily headed inside the farmhouse. After the Louds and Bobby had their baths and showers, they were all clean and were eating dinner in the dining room. They told their great adventure story in full detail to the parents and Lily. That must have been some adventure you all had, Rita said. Yeah, it was sure something, Lenny said. This was the best adventure ever. I can't wait to tell all my friends about this at school. We should all, all from our perspectives, Lincoln said. That way our stories will be flawless and it will be a big hit. I'm pretty sure you'll, they'll enjoy those, Lynn Senior replied. Elsa did get away from us for a while, but at least she and the unborn foal are safe and sound, Lisa said. I was wearing a Barney the Dinosaur costume at the circus. And I, can I get a Barney costume? Luann asked. I don't see why we can't, Luanna Banana. When we get to the circus tomorrow, I'll buy you a Barney costume for you. Len Sr. replied. Thanks, Dad. That's super dee duper. Ha ha ha. Luann laughed. When will the foal be born tonight or early hours in the morning? Lana asked. Well, we're not sure. It's hard to say, but Marfa will keep an eye on and will page us. Rita said. Then her phone dinged, and it was Martha. Kids, Elsa's about to have her foal. Let's go. As Rita said that, the Louds and Bobby got very excited. Lynn Sr. quieted everyone down as the kids and Bobby took their attention towards Lynn Sr. Before we head down to the stable, we have to keep our voices low when we're in the stable. Elsa does not need to be stressed out while giving birth. So we can watch her as long as we're quiet, Lynn Sr. reminded them. That sounds great, dudes. And can we all go to the circus tomorrow as a family? Luna asked. Can we all go to the circus as a family? Please? Lori asked as well. Of course we can. Go to the circus tomorrow as a family. Since while looking for Elsa, you didn't get a lot of time to have fun there. Rita replied. Then the Louds and Bobby headed towards the barn. And they all headed towards Elsa's stall. Here she is. Marfa whispered as the Louds watched Elsa in her stall. She was in labor for a bit, and still nothing happened. Nothing's happened yet. What's taking the foal so long? Lana asked. It takes about 12 to 18 minutes for the foal to be born. But since this is Elsa's first foal, it may take up to about an hour, Lisa explained. What if something goes wrong? Lenny asked. Elsa may need help. Help. If we don't see the foal within a half an hour, then we will have to have the vet's number and know what to do. 
Rita reassured Lenny. What's coming out of the mare's well, you know what? Lola asked in disgust. I think those are the front hooves, dude, Lunas replied. And Lola, giving birth isn't that disgusting. Plus, it's life. And this is what labor is like. Don't see me in that much pain anytime soon. Baby! Lily said. Yes, Lily. Elsa's having her baby, Rita replied. I'm pretty sure she'll be fine. If she needs help, we're here, Marfa said, as the louds watch Elsa having the foal in her stall. I see a nose coming out too, Luann said. Yeah, so the foal's in the right position to come out, Linz Jr. added. Were you in that much pain while having us kids? Lincoln asked Rita. Yes, I was, Lincoln, but it was all worth it when you were all born as babies, Rita replied, as the foal's head was out. Yikes! I'm not going- I'm glad not to be having kids right now, Lori stated. I'm still young to have kids. I agree, babe, but someday you'll be a mother of our kids, Bobby replied. The foal's almost out, Linsinger said, as the foal was finally born. It started to move as Elsa turned her head to see the, her baby. The baby's here, Luna added. Isn't the foal just a cutie? What is it? Lola asked, as Marfa took a towel and cleaned the foal up a bit. The foal was a rowan color, and the louds all had cute eyes over the newborn foal. Is it a boy or a girl? Lana asked as well. Marfa checked the gender of the foal while cleaning it. It's a filly, Marfa said. So it's a girl? Lana asked. It's a girl, dude, Luna answered. She's the most beautiful foal we've ever seen, Lori said, nearly crying tears of joy. I cried when you were born, Lori, Rita said. She's going to be a big horse someday, just like her mama, Bobby stated, as Elsa got up and turned around to lick her foal. This is a special moment. Lori took out her phone, and then which she recorded the horse's birth with, and took a photo of the newborn foal. You recorded the birth? Luann asked. Yeah, I'll post it when we get back to the house. This moment will be cherished by us all, Lori replied. The foal was beginning to try and stand up. As the filly made her first attempt, she fell down, and the lads all watched with Marfa as the filly tried to stand up again, but the filly stumbled on her legs. Keep trying, little one. You can do it, Lynn Jr. encouraged. As the foal tried to stand up for the third time, she finally stood up for the first time, although she wobbled a bit. The louds were all glad, glad that the foal looked healthy. What's her name gonna be? Lincoln asked. Can we go with a name that's good? Lucy suggested. Well, since you kids all found Elsa and brought her home, why don't you all name the foal? And we'll be fine with whatever name you decide, Lynn Sr. suggested. How does everyone feel about naming the foal Epona? Lincoln suggested, like from Legend of Zelda. I like that name a lot, Lenny said. We all like it too, Lana added. Great name, Lincoln. Epona it is, Lori said. How long can we keep Elsa and Epona? Well, we'll keep them for as long as you want. Rita replied. Then Epona began to nurse from Elsa. She's nursing from Mom, and it looks just like she found out where milk comes from, Luann said. Just use your imagination on where milk comes from in horses. I already knew the answer, but you do have a good point, Lisa stated. It seems that Mom and Baby are going to be fine, Marfa said. Since it's almost bedtime, why not put the other horses to bed, and we'll leave Elsa and the Baby alone for for her and Epona together to bond. We'll check on them in the morning. Sounds great. Glad mom and baby are doing well, Bobby said as Lori hugged him. Come on, Boo Boo Bear, let's get going, Lori said. The Louds and Bobby then put out the rest of the horses to bed before heading out of the barn. And this time, Lori made sure that all the stall doors were shut as well as the barn door. The next day, however, the Louds and Bobby were all getting ready to go to the circus as a family at Meadow Lane Creek. As they were in Vanzilla, they all drove down the road where they stopped at a nearby pasture. Inside the pasture, they saw Elsa with Epona. The foal was playful and was running around like crazy. The Louds and Bobby waved goodbye to the horses before her driving off to the circus. At the circus, the Louds and Bobby were having fun time there, eating treats, seeing animals, watching acts, and Luann even got herself a Barney the Dinosaur costume. As her act was going on as Barney, she looked at the audience. That was super de duper 
Or should I say stupendous? <laughs> Luann cackled as Barney the dinosaur. Then the louds will have to admit that this adventure was the best one they have had this summer.